all eyes on one man. A hat-trick in his last game. Will he prosper once more? We'll have the action on EA TV. Hello and welcome to Amsterdam. We're in position here at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And a very important occasion stands before us. We're at the quarter-final stage in the Cup. It's Ajax up against Vitesse. Well, the hosts certainly go into this game as strong favourites. They have better technical players and can be brilliant when everything clicks. But their opponents are well-organised, resilient and pose a threat on the counter-attack. Therefore, an early goal will be the main priority for the home team. Here's the starting lineup for Ajax. Well, it's a 4 3 3 formation with a centre forward and two wingers. So it's important that the midfield players give support to the striker whenever the ball goes wide. They can't allow him to be isolated. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. And the game begins. Well, he could really get at the opposition. Matusz Bero. Beautifully disguised ball. Defended well. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace, whether he's running with the ball or running in behind defenders. And that's what makes him such a threat on the counter-attack. And I'm sure that's going to be the tactics today from his team. Not giving their opponents a moment's peace. Well, real difficulty keeping the ball. danger here as he runs at them splendid defending and it needed to be million man Carlenza Pius and Bero on the ball and Ajax recovering possession Blake Manhoof passing it around looking for the goal that would put them ahead well, the ball brought down under no real pressure that's what you call defending from the front possibilities here after the foul a chance to contemplate what is next and perhaps a goal from this free kick
Well, real quality all around. How about that free kick? And how about the save? Played over. And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here it is again. It's a good delivery from the corner. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. Well, the ball is moving once more. How important will that opening goal prove to be? Guadio Kone. Blake. Well, he has the measure of his man. Can't miss, surely! Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Well, good pressure high up the pitch. Difficult to stop him. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Biting. It's with Bergwijn. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And threading it forward. And given away. Haidara. Ajax pushing forward with options available. But they took care of the situation defensively. So almost at the halfway mark. And Ajax with work to do in this one. Stuart, what have you made of their performance so far? Well, they've not had quite enough purpose to their attacking play so far. It's all been a bit too predictable. But in the second half, if they can get more support to their strikers and play with greater intensity, they can certainly turn this around. Eder Balanta. And unable to keep possession. Weighted ball, they might be in. Terrific save. <laughs> One minute of stoppage time has been added on. Oh, managing to beat him. Takes it on. And keeping it out. Well, just listen to the crowd. They know this is a big chance to equalise. Over it comes. Well, no problems defensively. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half-time here. Into the second half, then, can Ajax battle back after that first 45? Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending.
And the pass could do damage. No shortage of excitement. Level again. No wonder they're excited. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, but the keeper should do better in his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. So the ball is rolling again at one all. Carlen Sarkus. And Balanza now. Classic example of how to intercept. Well, we've been wondering for a while now, would it happen for Manchester United? Now it has happened on the transfer front, Stuart. Oh, Derek, what a great opportunity. And in! Oh, yes! Exactly what they were hoping to produce. They delivered the goal. Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. And using his strength to shield the ball. Promising attack, this. Biting. And strong play here. Well, he certainly caught all of that, but was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is. Well, as you can see, Ajax are seeing much less of the ball. But when they have had it, they've looked so dangerous, particularly when they press high up the field, win the ball back in those areas, and then counter-attack quickly. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Can he find the right pass? And a chance to whip it in here. Still behind, but the pressure mounting. Well, honestly, I didn't mean to jinx them. Just wasn't a very good pass, finally. Break. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Say this looks promising. And then with a real chance. And there it is, the goal they wanted for security. They lead by two now. They can breathe that bit more easily. Well, let's see this again. The vision to play this through ball is superb. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Mitchell Dykes. It's with Thomas Bouting. Nicely timed tackle. Well, let's see what they have in store for them on the break. Do they have the guile to open up the defence? And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form!
Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. Defending going on in the grand scheme of things. 4-1. Eder Balanta. It's with Thomas Bouting. Able to skip past his man. And diving to thwart him. Who's going to get on the end of it? Well, not the best clearance. Well, decent save there. And another corner, hot on the heels of the last one. Let's see about the delivery. They've given him too much space. Well, didn't go as a plan in the end. Well, it could be on for him here. And a goal it is. The keeper really not part of the equation. take another look if you lose the ball in those areas you're going to get punished and that's exactly what happened there it's a massive lead and it's very hard to imagine them losing it now and we've entered the final five minutes So to dispossess your opponent. Guadio Kone. It's with Bergwijn. Ajax finding space on the wing. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, the electronic board lets the fans know. Three minutes of stoppage time. Can they convert? That's high-level goalkeeping. Well, that's a fantastic save. He's such a good keeper. They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Can someone get on the end of this? Plattered away. There's the final whistle. The home fans are jubilant. They are going through. Well, it was all at a bit of a canter, to be honest. They dominated pretty much from the start, and it left the result in little doubt. They'll be full of confidence going into the next round.
This is the kind of occasion we all relish as football fans. Non-stop hype all week long. And now for the action. It really is a perfect day for football here in Amsterdam at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray, perched here on the commentary gantry, and sitting alongside me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. I'm delighted to be able to bring you live coverage of this game from the Eredivisie. It's Ajax against FC Twente. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Here's the starting lineup for Ajax. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. And introducing the visitors' lineup today. Well, it's the same formation, but they use it to press the ball high up the field. And rarely do the wide players drop deep to defend. And watch out for the midfield three who continually rotate their positions. And so the battle commences. Czerny. See some progress with the ball at his feet. But the danger averted for now. Who can he pick out? A really top-notch piece of defending. Kone. Well, you certainly can't underplay how proficient the home side are in front of goal. Just look at the record. Derek, he's got to tuck this away. In it goes! An early goal! No wonder they're celebrating! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Has restarted 1 0 here. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Rami Zeruki. And back with Blake. No danger here as he runs at them. Must be! Well, just look how he holds off the defender. He keeps his balance and he still hits the target. What a good goal that is. T 
So back underway with the lead standing at 2 0. Hannes Delcroix. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And a throw in forthcoming. Well, possibilities in the centre. A good and fair challenge. Aidara. Difficult to stop him. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Being egged on by the crowd. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Over it comes. Well, they couldn't take advantage of the chance. And still looking for space. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat-trick. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. So the action continues, and what a master class from Ajax. You sense it's a question of how many. And out of play it goes. Disappointing pass. Florian Grelic, Haidara, POV, Steven Bergwijn, and running it back. Good tackle, it'll be a throw. Václav Czerny. Oh, great attacking play. Well, only just wide of the post. Kone. Amadou Haidara. Plenty of support here. Chance here. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. <laughs> Trying to deliver it accurately. Not really the ideal clearance. Could be troublesome. Moving forward effectively. And still pressing. Well, he read that brilliantly at the back. Václav Czerny. Sadilek. And on to Delcroix. They've given it away. Well, it could be on for him here. A goal! An exceptional performance, this. Four to the good now. Well, here's the replay, and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back. But I don't think the keeper should be beaten at his near post quite so easily. I thought that was stoppable.
blistering first half display and just look at that score Cherny this is Kovnatsky Václav Cherny that is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances And the electronic board delivers the news. Two minutes of stoppage time. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Meunier. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. And the ball rolling again after what was a joyous first 45 from Ajax. Completely on top. Let's see what unfolds in the second half. And the ball's gone. This attack looks highly promising. Quite possibly a yellow card as their flow was stopped. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Has eyes for goal! And never in any doubt from the keeper. Well, transfer speculation is all part of football and there's been quite a lot of speculation on this front, but the deal has now been confirmed, Stuart. Yeah, and at that price it seems like very good business, doesn't it? Looking forward to seeing his debut and hopefully he can hit the ground running. He might be able to profit from the wide position. Body in the way. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? They need to get bodies back. And that pass could be troublesome. Promising position, this. Aydara. Can he put it away? Let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. And we're underway again. This game very much over as a contest. Czerny. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw in. So a personnel change then. Zeruki. That's a very fine piece of tackling. He's protecting it effectively. Zeruki. Sadilek. And the counter looks on here. Options available. 
Well, that break looked so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. Beautifully disguised ball and keeping it out. Substitution time it is here. Playing it in. Not a bit short with the clearance. Sadilek. Nicely timed tackle. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Well, it petered out. Now you can see, from the first Sunday of the next month, can for the Horeca only be digital be paid. How can he take them on and beat them? In with a chance! Oh, there it is! It's one goal after another, and it speaks to the quality of that performance. Well, here it is again, and the keeper's lost his concentration here. He's totally in the wrong position. He'll be disappointed with that. Now we're inside the final 15 minutes. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. Oh, it's a wild, wild finish. So almost at full time, and the home side very much in command. Stuart, what have you made of their overall performance? Well, what an excellent performance this has been. They've had complete control for most of the game. Their movement, clever passing and energy... Have... And the opportunity goes a-begging. He decided to hit that with power rather than going for placement. There has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes. And now both sides will make personnel switches. Zeruki. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Gives it a go. And there it is, a goal. But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, here's the replay, and you see it was a good finish. But the keeper at his near post has to do a lot better. He's got to have that near post covered for me. Five minutes left. Manu Trigueros. David Zima. And the referee felt he had to blow the whistle. Well, they've given him too much space. He does have pressure to deal with. Ugalde. Making use of his physical strength to hang on to it. And the keeper can gather. Darami. And there it is, the final whistle. The home fans are going to be happy with this result. Well, Derek, they were the better team all over the pitch. We saw good individual performances. We saw an attack which was always threatening. And they played really well. What a performance that was today. And back with Blake.